people die from liver disease, and that it is responsible for one out of every 25 deaths worldwide? That's a shocking statistic, right? Well, what's even sadder is that most of these deaths could be prevented by simply being educated about the signs of liver damage and making certain small but meaningful lifestyle changes. So what exactly constitutes liver damage, and how can you recognize its signs? If these questions are on your mind, stick around because I'll be addressing them in detail. Be sure to watch till the end of this video, where I'll be sharing some important liver health tips and telling you how to reverse fatty liver. Before I get started, here's a quick reminder. This video is for educational purposes only, and it isn't a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Liver damage is characterized by accumulated fat in the liver, and the severity of liver damage can range anywhere from a small amount of liver fat to a high amount of fat buildup in the liver, causing NAFLD or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If left untreated, it can cause permanent damage in the form of liver cirrhosis. And then, finally, end-stage liver failure. That can only be treated by a liver transplant. What's most concerning is that the symptoms of early-stage fatty liver can go unnoticed for years, allowing liver damage to remain undetected. At this point, nearly a third of the world's adult population is affected by fatty liver, which makes understanding this disease's signs and symptoms even more important. By recognizing its signs early on, you can prevent the disease from progressing and even reverse it, leaving your liver revitalized and clean. So without further ado, let's talk about the 12 signs of liver damage that you cannot ignore. The first and most common sign of a fatty liver is abdominal pain. If you have a fatty liver, abdominal pain feels like fullness or a hindrance towards the upper right side of the belly area. This is usually a constant yet dull pain. However, sometimes the pain may shoot in the entire abdominal region and a swelling may also be visible in that area. The second sign of a fatty liver is constant, unexplained fatigue. A fatty liver is one of the most common causes of feeling constantly tired. When there is a lot of fat accumulation in the liver and it is not releasing enough bile, the body struggles to absorb fat-soluble nutrients from food. This reduces the amount of antioxidants in the body and leaves you feeling weaker and fatigued. People suffering from fatty liver disease often experience daytime sleepiness and may wake up feeling tired even after a good night's sleep. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please click the like and subscribe button to help this video reach more people. The third common sign of liver damage is loss of appetite. If you felt a loss of appetite for a considerable amount of time, along with some of the other symptoms that I talk about in this video, it could point toward a fatty liver. This happens because the hormones that are responsible for hunger are negatively affected by fatty liver. This symptom also indicates that the fatty liver disease may have reached a more advanced level. The fourth sign, which is weight loss, is a direct consequence of loss of appetite. This is quite straightforward. If you're not hungry, you will be eating less, hence consuming fewer calories than you normally do. And that may lead to weight loss. What I have just covered were the four early signs of fatty liver. Now let's move on to the next eight signs and symptoms that show up in the later stages of liver damage as liver function begins to decline. Make sure to stay tuned till the end to know what's one of the last symptoms to appear if you have a fatty liver and it has reached a more advanced stage. Sign number five is jaundice, or yellowish skin and eyes. Jaundice is a condition in which the skin and whites of the eyes turn yellow. This is caused by the buildup of bilirubin, a yellow-orange bile pigment, in the blood. When the liver is not functioning healthily, it is unable to process bilirubin, leading to its buildup. That is why jaundice is seen as an indication that something is wrong with the liver. If jaundice is caused due to fatty liver disease, it is an indication that the condition has reached a more severe stage. The sixth sign is spider veins, or angioma. People who are affected by liver damage also have high levels of estrogen due to the inability of the liver to filter out excess hormones. This higher level of estrogen then causes small spider-like veins to appear on your skin. These can be blue, purple, or red in color and may appear in the form of thin lines, webs, or branches. Sign number seven is a swollen right leg. A very common sign of liver damage is swelling on your right foot and ankle. This swelling is due to poor blood circulation from the liver which leads to fluid being trapped in your leg. You can check this by pressing your finger into the swollen area on your foot. If it leaves a dent, it indicates the accumulation of fluid in that area. Low thyroid, or hypothyroidism, is the eighth sign of fatty liver disease. Hypothyroidism is often associated with liver damage. So if you've received a hypothyroidism diagnosis, and encounter a combination of other symptoms I've outlined in this video, it may indicate the presence of a fatty liver. 
This is because the hormone that the thyroid produces is activated and converted into its active form inside the liver. But in the case of a fatty liver, this conversion is blocked, causing hypothyroidism and problems with metabolism. The ninth sign is breast enlargement in men or gynecomastia. The higher levels of estrogen that I talked about earlier also cause breast enlargement in men. Typically starting with a lump of fatty tissue beneath the nipple, this condition is characterized by soreness and pain in the breast area when touched. Let's now move on to the 10th sign of liver damage, pale stools. When the liver is unable to effectively process bile salts, the consequence is a loss of the characteristic color in stools, making them noticeably paler. This shows us the liver's difficulty in performing its normal functions. Sign number 11 is itchy skin. We've all experienced the occasional itch, often due to dry skin or insect bites. But when the itching becomes persistent, it might be more than just dry skin. In advanced stages of liver disease, there is an accumulation of bile salts in the blue. These salts have the potential to depose it in the skin, giving rise to intense itching. While this itching is more common in the palms of the hand, it can spread all over the body. The twelfth and final symptom to be aware of is nausea. Nausea is one of the last symptoms to appear if you have a fatty liver. So if along with the other signs, you are also experiencing nausea, it indicates that the liver damage has reached a more advanced stage. A fatty liver often leads to a condition called gastroesophageal reflux, or GERD, which leads to nausea and vomiting. Also, if a person has fatty liver disease, the liver is unable to filter out toxins and waste products from the bloodstream. When these toxins build up to high levels, they can be responsible for causing nausea and uneasiness. Some of the early signs I've talked about in this video are easier to ignore and dismiss as they may pass off as minor digestive issues. But knowing how common fatty liver disease is in today's world, it is important for you to be vigilant and keep an eye on these signs. Now, as I promised at the beginning of the video, let's look at three meaningful lifestyle changes you can make to significantly reverse the fat in your liver. Firstly, avoid consuming alcohol. Avoiding or at least limiting alcohol consumption is crucial as alcohol can aggravate liver damage and increase the risk of a fatty liver progressing to more severe liver diseases. Second, focus on a well-balanced, nutrient-dense diet. This involves reducing your intake of added sugars, refined carbs, and saturated fats. Also, you should include whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your diet. This will help in weight management and improve insulin sensitivity, contributing to the reduction of fat in your liver. Third, you must exercise regularly. Exercise enhances your body's ability to utilize glucose and also burns excess fat, thus contributing to a reduction in liver fat as well. I cannot emphasize physical activity enough. It is crucial for reversing fat accumulation in your liver as it helps promote weight loss and improves insulin sensitivity, both of which are beneficial for anyone with fatty liver disease. I also want to hear from you. Have you experienced any of these symptoms? And what steps do you take to improve your liver health? Share your experiences in the comments below and let's start a conversation about liver health. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone who needs to see this video, click the share button to show them you care. Don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness tips. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.